Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about binomial distribution. In our last class, we clearly discussed about what Bernoulli distribution means. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, binomial distribution is very much used in our real life examples. So, we, how we are going to use in our real life examples in data analysis examples, uh, we will discuss in our uh, next coming classes. Uh, so, in this class, we are going to understand uh, when we need to apply binomial distribution and what is the probability mass function for binomial distribution uh, with simple uh, coin example. Coming to today's class, uh, so binomial distribution, a random experiment. Uh, consisting of n repeated Bernoulli experiments. In our last class when we discussed about Bernoulli experiment, uh, it should have only two outcomes, either success or failure. Then we say it as Bernoulli experiment. So what, what they are saying is a random experiment consisting of n repeated Bernoulli experiments. Means tossing a coin is a Bernoulli experiment. If you consider head as success, we call it as head is success, tail means failure. So it is a Bernoulli experiment. If you repeat this experiment for n times, then we can make it as binomial distribution. But it has to follow some conditions. What's these conditions? Let's try to understand. Each experiment is independent. Yes, tossing a coin is an independent event second time because means independent event means we already discussed previously in our examples independent event means one event occurring of one event should not affect the probability of the second event those two events are we call it as independent events so each experiment is independent this is very very important to remember this point in binomial distribution each experiment each Bernoulli experiment is independent of each other. Each experiment result in success or failure. Because we are following Bernoulli experiments, it will have only two outcomes. It is success or failure. Probability of success in each experiment is P. The, the, these are the points you have to satisfy. When, then we can, we can, if your experiment consisting of these conditions, then we can make it as binomial distribution. Until now, we did not uh, understand what binomial distribution means. Uh, if your experiment follows these conditions, then we can apply binomial distribution. That is the point you have to understand. Now, coming to the probability mass function, then we will uh, we'll uh, with example, we are going to understand binomial distribution. A random variable x that equals number of experiments that result in a success number of experiments that result in a success that random var variable has a binomial distribution with parameters n and p so we are going to understand this statement at the end of the class for just now remember x that equals number of experiments that result in success then we can make it as binomial distribution with parameters n and p. So probability mass function is given as binomial of x comma n comma p is given as n c x p power x multiplied by 1 minus p power n minus x. This is what probability mass function for a binomial distribution. First we have to understand how we got this probability mass function. Then we are going to understand this statement. Okay. So let's take an example and understand probability mass function. Example, toss a coin six times. We are tossing a coin six times. They are asking a question like this. Probability of having two success. Here success means head. So this is one of the way we are get, getting success. So success is equal to head. What is the probability of getting success? P. What is the probability of getting failure? 1 minus P. Because this is the this is this is the concept from Bernoulli experiment. If success is p means other option is failure. Failure is one minus p. So the first way is when you toss the coin first time, you may you may get head, you may get tail. Suppose if you got head, second time you got tail, third time you got tail, fourth time you got tail, fifth time you got tail. 
fifth time you got head yes this is one way you got two success out of six probability of having two success success is head so we are having two heads this is one of the way how we find the probability of this value all these trials are independent when it is independent of e each experiment is independent how we find the probability values multiplication theorem in our independent events multiply all the probabilities that we all the values you got from this independent values that is what the probability value so uh, what's the probability that you are going to get head is p what the probability value that you are going to get tail is 1 minus p 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 head is p so total we are having p power 2 so multiplication that's why p power 2 1 minus p power n minus 2 total n experiments out of 2 are success remaining are failure so we are finding the this is the value you got for this event but is this the only event that is going to happen with two heads no there are multiple events are there head head tail 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 this is second way like that how many ways you are going to get two success in six experiments this you will get from combinations the combinations examples which we have done in our previous classes n experiments has been done out of that you should have two success that is given as ncx x is two success n means number of experiments we have done Bernoulli experiments here n is 6 6 c 2 that's why our total total we are having these possibilities we are having ncx possibilities are there that's why we got the equation probability mass function ncx multiplied by p power x x is 2 here n is 6 here 1 minus p power n minus x n success x, x success n minus x failures that's why the probability mass function is decided this is how we got this probability mass function until now we didn't understand what's binomial distribution means with this probability mass function we are going to understand what's probability mass function what is binomial distribution means now coming to our random variable x when you toss the coin six times means we have done six experiments six Bernoulli experiments what is the possibility of getting two heads what is the possibility of getting four heads what is the possibility of getting five heads five success zero success so our random variable will take zero success one success two success three success four success five success six success this is this is what they have given the statement a random variable x that equals number of experiments that results in a success has a binomial distribution with parameters n and p this is given as b of this is the formulation which we used for binomial distribution the probability mass function is this now coming to our example the this is what the probability distribution means uh, binomial distribution means uh, zero success can be identified by f of x is equal to f of x means probability mass function probability of x is equal to x is a uh, small x is taken as zero n c zero here n is six six c zero p means pro, uh, probability of success power of x 1 minus p power of x if you substitute this in the in this equation we got this value 0 0.015625 we are not doing the calculation so this is the value so x is equal to 1 means one success out of six experiments one success this is the value you got if you substitute one in this equation n is a six x is one we got this value 0 0.09375 2 success this is the value 3 success this is the value 4 success this is the value 5 success this is the value 6 success this is the value this is what binomial distribution means so in our last classes when we discussed about probability distributions distributions two types of distributions are there discrete and random uh, continuous distributions this comes under the discrete distribution binomial distribution is a discrete probability distribution so in order to obtain 
probability discrete probability distribution you should follow two conditions what are those conditions probability of x is equal to x should be always greater than or equal to 0 yes always probability is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 0 and summation of all these prob probabilities should be 1 if you summation of all these values probability values we will get 1 yes it is following our probability distribution conditions discrete probability distribution conditions so that's why this is this is what in this type of situations we can apply binomial distribution so what's the type of situations if n repeated bernoulli experiments are done we can take that success values into binomial distribution the real life examples and data analysis examples will be discussed in our coming classes with the data analysis example we are going to understand Poisson distribution also if you have any questions regarding this concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you